Hey there everyone, Liam here. It's been quite a while since I've made a video. Um, I'm always filming these things and then uh, not bothering to put them up. But uh, hopefully that'll change this time. So, um, first things first, I just got back from the Emerald City Comic Con last weekend. Um, it was um, a lot of fun. I got a lot of stuff that I'll be showing you guys in my next video. But the video I want to do right now is going to talk about my current major collecting focus, which is foreign comic books, specifically reprints of American comic books. And here's an example that I got at the Comic-Con of um, a foreign comic that I have. This is uh, Captain Britain number eight. Um, it's the first appearance of the X-Men character Psylocke, um, and, uh, Psylocke is mainly an American character, except she first appeared in this comic, magazine size. It's really nice, near mint minus. Anyway, so, this is an example of a foreign comic, but it's not the main type that I collect. I only picked this one up because of the Psylocke appearance. The ones that I actually collect are, like I said, reprints of American comic books. So, like, Marvel, DC, Archie. Um, specifically, key issues. And um, two examples of those key issues... Let me get them. Two of the main ones that I'm trying to collect right now are Amazing Spider-Man number 238, first appearance of the Hobgoblin, and Amazing Spider-Man number 252, first appearance of the Black Suit. What I'm trying to do with these two keys, you know, they're two pretty, fairly well-known key issues, um, I'm trying to collect uh, foreign language uh, reprints from as many countries as I can. Um, to give you an example of what I mean, here we have, like you've seen, The Amazing Spider-Man 38. This is the American edition, and here, we have the, the French-Canadian edition, L'Etonnant Spider-Man, number 141-142. Now, there's a lot of things that are different with these foreign language reprints. For example, the numbering system is much different. It's not, it's not number 238, it's number 141-142. So this issue actually contains Amazing Spider-Man number 238 and number 239, all in one issue. Um, these are pretty hard to find. I got this one specifically on eBay. Um, there were two. There was one that was about $23, buy it now, and it was in lower grade than this one. This one's about a, a fine plus, maybe very fine minus, I don't know. Um, yeah, and then this one only cost me about max $10, which is about the value of this comic. Because there's not a huge market for these uh, reprints, but um, I know of me and one other collector who collects these, and uh, we're willing to pay about 10 for Copper Age keys, and then we, we likely will resell for about 20 So yeah, here you have it. This is the French language from Canada, Amazing Spider-Man 238. And now an example of an example of one that I have. Here, you know, this is Spider Man 52, American edition. And what we have here is the French edition from France. Not from Canada, from France. This is Strange Album number 65. This is a very thick one. Um, I didn't know it was this, this thick when I, uh, bought it off French eBay. Um, but it, uh, it showed up nice. Uh, I was planning on getting it graded by CGC, but I, according to them, it's just, just over the limit that they can slide books at, but I'm, I haven't given up hope yet. <laughs> um, this one's about a very fine minus. Um, paid $15 for it. There's another French Amazing Spider-Man 252 that exists, because this is actually the collected edition. This collects uh, 
the original. This this collects Strange number 194, 195, and 196. And um, this cover um, was originally reprinted in France in Strange number 196. So this is the collected edition. Um, so I have to get the original as well. <laughs> now this is really cool. This is the Italian edition of Amazing Spider-Man 252. Luomo Regno, number 39. <sighs> this one I got from my friend, Hector, on the CGC forums, who also collects these. I got this in a trade, among other things, for um, my Canadian edition, Secret Wars number 8, which I've shown before. Um, so yeah, this is in... I don't know. Very fine minus. Fine to very fine. Um... It's just really cool. There's a lot of differences. Uh, like the the barcode is a picture of the X Men. Uh, all the writings in Italian. So you know, it's pretty cool. Um, and in addition to those two issues, I collect um, all kinds of other ones. Except the the third major one that I collect is I don't have an American uh, sample to show you right now, but Secret Wars number eight. The uh, first appearance, of, well, the origin of the black costume. This is the Mexican edition. Yeah, that's right, Mexican edition. Um, this I also got from Hector. Um, it's in probably fine plus. Um, this and the uh, Italian Amazing Spider-Man 252 are both a little shorter than regular comics. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of room left in the bag. Um, this one's quite thin. Um, but yeah, really cool to have. And then, my last key that I have, that is, uh, in a foreign language, is this one. Uncanny X-Men number 266 in French, from France. This is Special Strange number 76. Um, or Special Strange. Spelled in English, I don't know why they do that, but um, <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, a magazine format. Well, it's supposed to be a magazine, it's widely considered to be a magazine, but it's it's comic size. Um, I actually just got this in the mail yesterday and um, I got a really good deal on it, it's about seven bucks. Got it from French eBay, so yeah, um, this is the only reprint that I know about this issue. I'm going to keep looking, of course, but um, the X-Men didn't have a heck of a lot of reprints in foreign countries. Spider-Man had a, a crap load. Just so many. Um, the Avengers had a few. But yeah, no, you don't see you don't see this issue much. I'm going to keep researching. But, um, if, if any of you guys want to know or cover scans or anything about any of these issues, um, or just, like, titles... Or, you know, foreign comics in general, let me know, because I have a huge, huge, huge folder full of these uh, scans of these issues, and I, I think I'm pretty knowledgeable in most of the titles now, after all my research that I've done. So just, you know, if you need info, let me know. Uh, okay, so... <sighs> Those are the key issues that I have. And then I also collect other things, like Archie. For example, these. Jean Betty Veronica, number 10. This is a digest size. Encrypted in color. This is from uh, Quebec. So this is French Canadian. Here's number 10. And here is number 13. I look for these on eBay every once in a while. And I also have, I might pull out some more RGs in a minute, but right now, also, I have this cool one. This is uh, Hulk, number 16, also digest size. Um, I just from French eBay, once again, uh, so it's France. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Paid a couple dollars for it. And now we have trade paperbacks, uh, collected edition. This is one of my favorites. Marvel Omnibus Sagas, Volume 2. Volume this is from Mexico, so it's Spanish language, and it reprints basically classic stories, like we have, um, 
we have uh, X Men number one from the '90s. We have the Venom uh, McFarlane series from Spider Man. We have the Elektra Daredevil series, and then a couple of nice Thor and Hulk classic issues. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice one. I got this in Mexico when I went there this uh, winter break. Uh, also, another cool one. Mini Marvels. This is a series done by um, Chris Giarusso, along with a few other artists. And um, I actually got it signed at the Emerald City Comic Con. Chris Giarusso. So that's pretty cool. The stories are really cute. Look them up on Google. They're just they're just hilarious. It, I can sort of understand what they're saying in Spanish, so it's an added bonus, but they're just hilarious in English. And last for this little group, and probably for all, Marvel Zombies 2. Marvel Monster Edition. Um, also from Mexico. All three of those were from Mexico. I love Marvel Zombies, personally. I don't know why. Um, they've done so much with it, though. But it's just cool seeing it in, uh, collected Spanish from Mexico, so... Um, those are pretty much my, um, foreign... You know what? No, I have. Uh, where are they? There we go. I'll just... To show this one. I'm running out of time. This one is Archie number 15. Um, this is also from Mexico. Um, reprints uh, uh, an Archie story where he goes back in time and meets himself. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so basically that's it for my foreign editions. Um, I hope that was interesting for you guys to see all these, because I know a lot of people have never even, like, they probably didn't even know they exist. Um, so, yeah, I have a lot of fun finding these things. And if you guys own any Marvel or DC or Archie reprints um, in any foreign language, even if they were done, like, if you're in Canada, if you have a French-Canadian um, edition of a comic by Marvel, DC, or Archie, or Pokemon also I'm looking for, or The Simpsons. Um, if you have any of those, uh, look me up. I would definitely be interested in trading or buying them. Um, yeah, and if you want any info on any of these, let me know. I'll uh, I'll tell you what I know. So yeah, um, I'll be back in a bit with another video on my um, best uh, acquisitions from the convention. So yeah, see you later.